Let's go live. Let's go live. It's not liking it. Let's go live. Let's go live. There we go. Hey everybody, welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. My name is Robin and Bill is behind the camera, behind the computer, helping me out here. So welcome to our craft studio. I have a beautiful project to show you tonight. So come on in, say hello. Let me get this up and running. And we will get started. Keep going, got saved. Okay, so our keyword tonight is club. Keyword tonight is club that will get you entered into our weekly drawing that we hold on Sunday nights. So be sure and type club in the comments and say hello when you get here. Hi, Margaret. Thanks for sprinkling. Hello. And let me do one more thing. Turn this off. Things off and we should be ready to go. How is everybody? Thanks for joining me. And of course, if you're watching, we would love it if you'd give our page a heart, whether you're live or whether you're watching replay, give us a heart, follow our page, our Facebook page, Raincross Farms Makery. And we also have a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to for free. That's also Raincross Farms Makery. So we hope to see you on our list there. And we would love it if you would sprinkle this out to all of your crafty friends. Thanks so much. Thanks, Margaret. I like it too. Okay, who all's here? We've got a few people on. Oh, two or three. Two or three. We're going to we're going to um do a project with this month's club design. So if you are not sure what club is, club is our monthly subscription program. And every month you get to your, to your mailbox for $21.99 a month. Um, you get a eight and a half by 11 transfer that is exclusive to club members and designers. You also get, in fact, let me just show you. This is August. It is County Fair. County Fair with that darling pumpkin. And you get three coordinated paste packets. So this month you get pesto, currant jam, and papaya. You can use them or you can choose to use some other colors. The very first time you join club, you get a free mini squeegee for your project. And also I've already used mine and I think it's, I think I have it downstairs, but um, also something brand new, club members get a free accessory to go with their, um, with their, their club transfer. And this month it is a cutout of the pumpkin. I've already used mine, so I don't have it to show you, but it's just a wood cutout. So you can chalk the pumpkin onto the wood cutout. You can use it by itself. You can use it all together to add some dimension, but it's pretty awesome. So that is our club with, oh, no, I don't, I still have it here. Never mind. Let me pull it off of here. This was, this was the one we made. This is, this is the wooden cutout. You can kind of see it's in there. That's the wooden cutout and county fair. We didn't use the entire transfer. So this was our first go at, at our club. And the great thing about it is that once you have, once you have the transfer, you can use it over and over again, and you get enough paste where you can do several different projects with it. So I'm going to show you a different project that you can use it for. Hi, Rhonda. Hey, Chris. Okay. So one thing I do want to tell you, and I'm going to kind of so listen carefully and read between the lines. I have always thought 
the, the thing that's missing from the club program is a surface. Well, that would bump the price up exponentially. So they don't include a surface other than now that they are um, including the little uh, accessory, coordinated accessory, but they don't have a surface. And I, this is, this is, this is one of our new products. This is our um, nine by 12. It is double-sided, white on one side, black on the other. This is that rechalkable surface to where you can uh, spray it down with water, scrape it off, um, um, clean it off, and you can rechalk either side of this surface. This would fit, if you were a club member and you had one of these, you would have a ready-to-go project every single month because this is going to fit. You decide whether you want it on the black background, the white background, or whether you want to paint your background. And this is brand new. And listen carefully because this is my business page, so I can't tell you my specials and giveaways and that type of thing. I can't give you all the details. But for the month of August, anyone who joins club is going to get a free gift from me. And that's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. So if you're interested in that, if you want to find out more, if you want to find out what the secret is that I cannot share on my business page, when you comment club, uh, no, that did not raise the price of club. I'll, I'll get to that. Um, if when you comment club, you will get a message to your messenger letting you know you're enrolled in our weekly drawing. There's also a button you can push that says product info. If you click on product info, you'll get another message and then you'll find the you'll find well, let me let me double check what it says. Let's pull it up here. You'll find the button that says That says club special, club special. Click that box and that will tell you all about my very special private offer, special offer to any brand new club member to my group in the month of August. So check that out. But what we're gonna do tonight, we are going to do, again, we're just, we're not gonna use the entire thing. That's another great thing about our transfers is you can use bits and pieces of them. You can mix and match them. So we are just really going to use the pumpkin and probably the little first place ribbon because I think that's cute. Okay, so did that raise the price of club? No, Rhonda, that did not raise the price of club. Club did raise, oh, many, many months ago. Um, it had been it had been at $19.99 for, for years and they just recently raised it to $21.99. But now that they've added the the bonus accessory it is not it did not raise the price of club that is just their free gift to you so let me pull out my transfer and let me show you what we're going to do i'm going to use this this is a six by six box frame and it is not one of those reusable surfaces it's not, let's just say, it's not designed to be a reusable surface, but um, you can kind of clean it off. You can definitely paint over it. You can sand over it. So you could reuse these surfaces if you wanted to. Uh, one side is white. The other side is this uh, natural wood brown. They're wide enough that they stand up shelf sitter, or you can hang them on a wall. So we are going to use this. We are just going to use the pumpkin and we are going to actually we're going to make a little stuffy out of it do you know what a stuffy is i never called them stuffy it's like a stuffed animal only it's not an animal it's a stuffed pumpkin so we are going to chalk and i'm going to pardon me i didn't bring my ink mat over here Ooh, what Okay, this is not absolutely necessary. This is my ink mat. It's like a Cricut mat, Cricut cutting mat. It's sticky and we're going to use this and we are going to chalk a 
pumpkin onto some uh, canvas. Okay, the, my secret for purchasing canvas, don't buy it by the yard in a fabric store. Go to, if you want the natural color, natural color canvas, go to a hardware store in the paint department and get yourself a canvas drop cloth. You get yards and yards and yards of it for really cheap, like six bucks. And you can do all sorts of canvas pro projects. Now, ordinarily, I would do um, I would do ink when I worked on fabric, but I'm not going to wash this, so I can go ahead and just use my paste. Okay, let's see. Can't miss any questions. Okay, so my ink mat is basically holding my fabric in place. Not crucial, but it's very helpful. I'm going to take my transfer. I'm not going to fuzz it because I'm putting it on fabric and I want it to stick really well. And I'm just going to place it right there. And I'm gonna push it down really well because fabric tends to kind of bleed a little bit. I don't really want that. So I'm gonna push that down. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use moss. This is our, one of our newest colors. It's, it's really pretty autumn green, kind of a avocado green. And I'm going to use some bark. These are deep brown. And I'm going to use some hay pumpkin, another one of our new colors. this month? Um, there are some sales. So when you go to the website, um, you can actually, you can, you can follow the link that says club and follow, you can either go to, you can go to product list, um, and click on tonight's supplies that will give you a cart link, but up at the very top of that cart link, you can shop by category. And if you click on specials, you can check and see what is on special. We have a bunch of uh, bundles, Halloween bundles, um, autumn bundles. I think there's, I think there's even some Christmas bundles in there. So you can take a look at see the things that are on sale. So for this first pass, I am really only going to go, I'm not going to put the orange down yet because we're going to, we're going to paint the orange. So I'm just going to use the moss for these little leaves. And I'm going to use the bark for the outline of the pumpkin and the stem. In fact, you know what? I might just do the whole stem in green. Okay. So. I'm going to that stem is kind of small. So I've got I've got a mini squeegee that I even that I sliced in half. So it makes a really thin, makes a really thin squeegee. And I'm going to just chop. where I want it and I think I will do I think I will do the stem in some brown and you know what? I'm going to get another one of those for that stem And then I'm going to switch over to my mini squeegee. I'm going to do this entire pumpkin outline. And you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute to get it orange.
How is everybody? Is everybody's weather cooling down or is it just us? We have had some beautiful days. I know we're still going to have we're still going to have some heat, but uh this whole week has just been wonderful. A little bit of rain here and there. So how is everyone's weather? Patty says you make it look so easy. <laughs> it is easy. It is easy. Okay, so I'm going to peel this up. Just, you know what? I see. I didn't quite get all of that. All of that green. So I'm going to lay it back down and go over that just. That's the nice part about having this in a um, sticky pad behind it. Right? Yeah, that, that holds it in place. Okay, I'm going to set this down on a drying mat, and I'm going to clean it before the next part, but for right now, I'm going to just spray it with some water to keep that paste damp so it's easier to clean. And then I'm going to dry this. I'm going to pull it off of my mat because I'm going to use my higher heat gun because I don't want to take forever to get this dry. I'm going to use my higher heat gun. This is actually an embossing gun and that will melt my ink mat. you what we're going to do. Five degrees warmer than Spokane. Probably. And we're actually, what's our temperature compared to actual Lewiston? Are we, are we warmer? Typically warmer than Lewiston itself. Okay. 17 miles out of Lewiston and we're kind of down in a valley. And so we're we're actually a little warmer than Lewiston. So we're very similar to you, Rhonda. Still the mid 90s. I'm sorry, you guys. It won't last forever. It won't. Okay. So I've got that dry. Now I'm going to use this to actually paint our pumpkin orange. I could have put this on orange fabric, but I'm just going to use our paste. I'm going to thin it down. In fact, I'm going to thin it down quite a bit. And we will paint it off with a paintbrush. Yeah, Rhonda, we're scheduled to be 92 to 95 tomorrow. Well, that's no good. Better than 105, which we have been part of. Yep, we've been warmer than that, too. OK, so I've got this really thin thinner than paint, more like, kind of like watercolor. And I'm just going to, stuff. I'm going to go ahead and I, I'm not worried about that brown that I put it down on, that I've already put down, because I'm going to re-chalk over that. This is just giving me my outline. Completely colored in. Teresa Adams said hello. Hello, Teresa. How are you doing? Okay. 
So realistically, what you're doing is adding layers of color. Yes. And you put down the brown just so just you so have I kind of have color. like a like I have a guide of where my paint needs to go. And I actually this sucks this sucks in a lot of paint. So I'm going to actually put in a little more. this canvas really sucks it in. And again, you got that canvas at Home Depot, right? I either got it at Home Depot or uh, Harbor Freight. Anywhere they sell um, drop cloths for painting. You don't want one of the paper ones, but you know, you pay a few extra bucks to get the canvas one, and you've got yourself a ton of canvas. And I finally got into there. Oh, good, good, good. Good for you. Build in therapy. You guys can compare notes. Well, mine's mental therapy. You're, yeah, well, that's not the kind of therapy. That's not working. Yeah, so, but he, um, he got kicked out of therapy today. <laughs> or so he says, I think he just wanted to go to Home Depot. That was it. Okay, so I've got that painted. As you can see, painted. Now I'm going to do something I am not super duper good at. I'm going to kind of um, highlight it. So I've got, I've got orange peel. Chris most anyone who would have it. It's just a cloth, drop cloth. It's just a drop, a painter, drop painter's drop cloth. Walmart has them. Oh, Rhonda said that, yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to take uh, orange peel, which is a little bit darker. This is where it gets. I think I need, I think I need to buy a new orange peel. Still get your orange. You certainly could, couldn't you? And I'm going to use a little bit of the bark, just a tad. Mix that together so it's a deep, kind of a deeper orange. And the rule when you're mixing colors. Put the dark into the light because the dark will, will overpower. So you, you want to put that in slowly at a time. And I'll see if I can just trim that down. You can always add two, you really can't take that. That's right. Because if you want to, if you put it, if you try to add light colors to dark, You'll take forever. You'll use up a whole lot of the light to overcome the dark. Sounds very spiritual, doesn't it? Teresa Thank says you. she loves her uh, loves your bra. Thank you. My what? Your blouse. <laughs> you call it a she bra. Just, she said uh, <laughs> dress. dress. Yeah, right. it's actually it's actually it, it's a long it's a long blouse. I like those. Cover cover your. I guess well, somebody wear them. Somebody probably wear it as a dress. Not with your legs are way too long. Did you for wash that. the cloth? No, I did not wash the cloth before stenciling it. And I won't because I'm not I'm not gonna wash this. This is this is gonna be decor. So hopefully this is this is dark enough too much. I think I'm gonna add just a bit more of the brown. Oops, now I've got that brown in my Teresa Adams says she's short five foot. Oh, okay. yeah, you can wear it as a dress. I'm sure there's those little chickadees that will uh, 
wear something like this as a dress. Okay, now let's try this. And I'm just kind of highlighting by going over where those uh, ribs are. Tammy, the keyword is club. I'm getting in there pretty dark. Just to kind of give it a little shadowing. This is completely optional. Well, Margaret, have a wonderful evening. I hope, I wish I could use your meds to go to sleep. Okay. But, but anyway. Well, you, you had your own meds the other night, buddy boy. Boy, they did yesterday. <laughs> they put me off. Yeah, so good night, Margaret. Everyone say good night to Margaret. Good night, Margaret. Good night, John boy. Yes, Bill had an MRI, uh, and he wasn't taking any chances that he was going to freak out. So they prescribed him some happy pills. He needed a designated driver, let's just say. Okay, so I've kind of... I'm, I am almost certain the camera is not going to pick this up, but I do have some dark areas right where those little ribs are. Are you just hanging over everything? Is that I am. I am. But this, having chalked it first, shows me where, where to chalk. Okay, let's see. Janine says good night, Margaret. Lisa says good night, Margaret. <laughs> the Waltons. Okay. Chris says good night, Margaret. Tammy says club. <laughs> okay, let me clean up a bit here. And I think I might, I'm going to need the green again. Okay. So I've got this. Let me hold it up. I don't know if I don't know if you can see the detail or not, but that is we're not done. That is just completely painted over. We're going to dry it really well. And I'm going to make sure the back is dry because I added a lot of paint to this. I'm going over the back. And I'm not doing ink because this is not good. Well, it, it does not need to be permanent. So if I wanted it to be permanent, if I was putting this like on a t-shirt or something or something I might be thinking about washing, then I would use ink to make it permanent going to be hanging around a shop, hanging on a wall decor. The weekend. I think we are going to go to a town about 45 minutes away called Nosco, Idaho. And we're going to go to the farmer's market. And I, I am actually on the lookout for some supplies for a um, craft um, a craft around the clock uh, event that I have a special idea for, but I'm trying to find some unique supplies. And I've been to every thrift shop here and haven't found 
everything that I need. So this thrift store usually does not disappoint. So we're going to actually go in there and take a look around. And so that will probably be most of our Saturday. Okay, so I'm going to clean this because I'm going to lay it back down and rechalk it. So I'm going to start with, I sprayed it with water. I'm going to take a, I always forget what these are, Swedish dishcloth. Or, or you could use a paper towel or, or neither. It's completely optional. It just really gets off that top layer of paste. And then I'm going to pull out my uh, board eraser. Very similar to a magic eraser. And this really pulls that paste off and out of that screen. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to respray. And go back over it with the board eraser. And I think we've said it before, but sometimes it's just easier to put this in your sink. Yes, if I was upstairs, and I'm also making sure I get the any extra fuzz off of it from putting it down on that fabric. If I was upstairs and by my sink, I would probably just lay it on a cutting board and run water over it. Still, I'd still use my board eraser. Wanda wants to know what you're looking for. What am I looking for? Yes, this is good. I am looking for teacups and saucers. Teacups and saucers. I have some. This is a craft that won't that won't ruin them, but they will not be usable as teacups and saucers afterwards. And I have some that have been gifts. And they have so sentimental value. They have sentimental value. I don't use them as teacups. They're hanging on the wall in a deck in a decorative little hanger. I'm just taking a paper towel and drying this off because I need to lay it back down again. So I would prefer not to use those. So I'm on the hunt for some decorative teacups and saucers. I have found lots of them, but I'm not looking for super high end. I'm not looking for fine china. I'm just looking for the decorative ones because um, I'm not wanting to pay the high-end prices. But if I have to, I'll use mine. Where did you get the sprayer? This? I believe I got this at Walmart. I think it's, I think it's called a fine mist sprayer. We used to sell them, but that's something they took off of the, that's something they took out of the, out of the lineup. If I'm laying this back down on my ink mat, just to hold it in place. And I don't know if you say it's dry. It is dry. And I'm going to lay this because our newer transfers are kind of like see-through. It's really easy to line this right back up. So I can chalk right exactly over it again. The only problem that I come to when I do something like this is sometimes when you pull it off of the off of the board off of the thing it it kind of uh let's say it. stretches it kind of tweaks it a little bit but i am i've got that pretty well lined up i think maybe not Okay, Chris, I gotta ask. I've used teacups for a pin cushion. Yes, I have seen that. What is that? Explain that to me. If you can't, I will. That's not my project though. Okay, so I've got that. I did need the brown again. I've got my bark. 
I'm going to lightly go over this. Rhonda says UGM in um, in um, Spokane is pretty good too. I checked the UG, we have a UGM here. I checked there, I didn't find what I was looking for. Maybe I'm too picky, that could be it. Again, I'm finding lots of, I'm finding lots of teacups. They're just higher end. You know, they're the fancy China names and that's just not, that's just not what I'm looking for that's not a price point I'm looking for. I know, you should just go buy Corel. That's, I want it to look a little nicer than that. <laughs> Although there's nothing wrong with Corel. I like my mom's Corel. Okay, so I'm gonna peel that back up and now I have all of that design put back on. I'm going to do one other thing. Um, going to over in this corner, I'm going to put down this little uh, first place ribbon. And I know first place is, is traditionally blue. I'm going to do it in green just because blue is not in my color scheme. That's just wrong. At this juncture. Go over this and I'm just chalking it on canvas. I think it was one of the hardest things to teach in my classroom when I was teaching kids about artwork is you don't have to use the whole thing the way it's built. Yeah. Okay. You put the pieces where you want them. And then I'm also, you know what? I didn't do what I wanted to do. I was going to put, I was going to chop this too. That just kind of sucked it up. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to paint this, paint this orange since I have it out. So I just have a, it's just a round, wood, wooden round, it's two inches. And I'm going to use this little ribbon piece. Just painting the background here. Meantime, that is drying. Okay. Chris explained it to me. Okay. It's sort of what I had envisioned, but. Okay. So let me dry this, the top over it. Not use that. Okay, I'm going to put, well, you know what? I'm gonna put that down right like this. And I'm going to use my green. Hi, Cheryl Mack. Hello, Cheryl. Agreed, Rhonda. But that's all right. Yeah. But I don't know that I would be a fan. I could do a gold ribbon. I think the orange and green will end up looking nice. Yeah, a couple little spots here. I'm trying to be careful. And it. So 
I'm taking my time right from there. Okay. And if we don't like it at all, we don't have to use it. Okay, so I'm done with green. Put that away. I'm done with bark. Put that away. We peel this off. Okay. Ooh, I do, I don't like it at all. So we're not gonna use it. Eh. 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 No thanks. Okay. Um. That's funny. I'm gonna. The fact that you can just say, hey, I don't like it, whatever. But that's what crafting is. Give it a try. We can't say we didn't try. I really like this little one now. That one turned out cute. This one turned out cute. I kind of did the same thing with that, only I don't know why. <laughs> now we can't do anything creative every day. Earthquake, earthquake. Anyway, we have to rearrange. Okay. Okay, so I just sprayed this down so the paste stays down. I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to spray it one more time. I'm not good. I don't know what that problem was. Colors. Yellow working with purple. Correct? Complimentary? Red goes with green. No. Yes. Red goes with green. Yellow goes with purple. And more blue. Sorry? And more blue. I always have to remember it's the three main colors red yellow blue red yellow blue and the complementary color of one is the, a combination of the other two so cool. red yellow blue so blue and a combination of red and yellow which is orange correct and then whatever you've got it okay so that's why, that's why we have the internet to just verify yeah. all that stuff. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to, we're going to make this a stuffy. So to do that, I need to have a front and back. So let me get my pinking shears because pinking shears always keep things from raveling too much. So I've got this double layer and I'm going to go around. I'm not going to go exactly up to the edge. I'm Are those to... your mom's pinking shears? These were my mom's pinking shears. These are her fancy ones. I don't see the brand index on them. Okay. I'm not going to completely go around all of those leaves. I'm just going to kind of uh, so I'm cutting two layers of this. That off. And we're just going to make a little stuffy out of this. Stuffies are really cute to decorate with. You can make a whole bunch of stuffies and hang them like on a on a banner, a swag banner. So here we got two pieces of it. And again, this isn't anything fancy dancy. It's not going to be it's not going to be washed. So I'm just going to glue this together. It. That lined up again. Okay. So 
come on. So push that down. Be careful. Hot glue is hot. You need to use a push stick or something. Do that. Protect your fingers. And I'm going to leave a little opening down in the bottom because we're going to stuff our stuffy. Brenda said sprinkles. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Lisa says cut in a dough bowl. Oh, cute in a dough bowl. Yes. You can make a whole bunch of them. You can make all different sizes oh, yeah. uh -huh. and use them like in a dough bowl on your table. Just hanging around on shelves. Uh, a lot of people have um, like year-round trees, Christmas trees that they leave up, but they don't. They decorate for different seasons. Those would be cute hanging on on uh, a seasonal tree or a Christmas tree. Okay, so I've got that all the way around except I have a little opening right here. For me to stuff in some stuffing. So I've got some fiber fill and I'm not going to take a big wad and put it in because that always makes things lumpy. So we so need to do this. Trays. Yes, tiered trays, shelf sitters. So don't take a big wad and try to stuff it in there because it'll just be lumpy. And I'm not going to use too much. It's not It's not like it's going to be round. Cheryl says, what are you making? I am making, well, right now I'm making a pumpkin stuffy. I'm using our club transfer. Just the pumpkin part of it. So I'm making a little stuffy. These are, these are fun for kids to play with. I wouldn't give them to young, young kids. You don't want... You need to, it needs to be a kid that's not going to stick it in his mouth or her mouth. Um, but they're just cute little soft toys. Um, if you're, if you're going to let a child handle it, you probably want to go around with a sewing machine or even just a needle and thread. Reinforce that, but just for decoration, just hot glue is fine. And again, I, I'm not looking that this be too puffy. I just want to give it a little bit of body. So I think that will do. Smush it around, and then I'm going to get my glue gun and close that up. Don't burn yourself. And that's the goal. Goal. Well, one nice thing, this canvas is pretty thick, so it, it kind of offers a little bit of protection against the hot glue. Rhonda says, what, the paint isn't edible? <laughs> you know, people eat chalk all the time. What's the big yeah, Well, the paint is, is, is non-toxic. You just probably don't want them getting into the fiber fill. You could fill it with beans or something, too, if you wanted to. So it's just slightly, it's just slightly puffy. And I told you we're going to use our uh, six by six frame. So we are just going to, I'm just going to stick it in there. And I think I'm just going to dab one little dab of hot glue. I'm making myself not say it. A little dab will do you. Okay, so I've got that on there. Now let's decorate it up just a little bit. Okay, um, I have some, uh, what is this? Raffia. raffia. This is rolled raffia. It's not the wild raffia. This is tame raffia. 
and I have it in green. This is one of the colors that came in a set of red, I think the red and the natural and the green came in a set. And then I also got some white, but I'm gonna use this green because I wanna give this a little color. And I'm going to just kind of, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna wrap this around. Like in the jewel rings. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start it back here. Thank you for sprinkling. I'm gonna tie it. I'm not gonna glue it. So I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple of times, right up here. Give it a little something, and I'm going to tie it in the back. Snip that off. Thanks for sprinkling. Okay, I'm gonna trim that. Um, I think I'm gonna put just a little bow, tie just a little bow up in this corner. Yeah, I was thinking about putting the the ribbon like up here, but I didn't like how it looked. And I think you all agree. We all agreed. You all agreed. Okay. Just a little shoestring bow. Trim that, trim that, cute, 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 and you tame raffia by spraying a little, oh, I did not know that. That's a uh, good thing to remember. Probably missing from some of the shows for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I wish you the best, and hopefully, hopefully you can recover and watch our shows as you're Hopefully, laying around recovering quickly. Please join us when you can, and we will be praying for you. Okay. Um, I was going to use, what did I do with it? I was going to use some moss down at the bottom, and I was looking for some green moss. I know I have some green moss somewhere. Can I find it? No, I cannot. But instead of using the brown, I got this at the Dollar Tree. I know they still have it. It just looked cool and I haven't used it yet. It's called Mesh Ribbon. And see, just bringing that, just bringing that stupid moss out. No moss, no moss. No moss, no moss, yes. So I thought <coughs> it looks like, it kind of looks like a spider web. But it's this pretty green, and I kind of thought I could kind of make this look like moss along the bottom of the pumpkin. At least that's my plan. So now this, I am going to be using my glue gun in fits and starts, and I don't want this to burn me so I'm going to I'm going to hold it down like this and I'm really just going to kind of bunch it up and see how it looks if I don't like it I'll rip it all off okay so let me put another little blob there. Are you just rolling it up? Uh, no, I'm just kind of puffing it up and smushing it. Smushing it and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go. Go up. There. 
I might end up hating this too. Not be the first time on this live. That's kind of looking like moss. What do you think so far? Does that kind of look like moss down at the bottom? You caught me off guard. Sorry. Read my mind. Been married only 41 years. I cannot read your mind. Give me a couple more years, maybe then. Maybe. Brenda says she has so much moss in her backyard, her grandchildren went out <laughs> and got some for me. It's almost dry. That's one thing we don't have, well, at least not close by. We don't have moss. There is some up at North Fork. Is there? Yeah, we can go mm -hmm. harvest some. Yeah, but that's a couple hours away. No, that's four hours away. Oh, well, that's that's a couple. That's a double couple. That's a double couple. <laughs> we got to get some uh, mistletoe. It's, it's okay. It would have probably been easier to have just found my green moss, but. It's good to see a new, a new yeah. idea. Well, sometimes you just have to make do. So I'm really just kind of bunching it up and twisting it around and gluing it down. But this is not nearly as messy as moss. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're we're not quite at forty one. We have another at... couple weeks. <laughs> Still early. Don't know if we'll make it. <laughs> Depends on how many runs I make to, to Home Depot. Unsupervised. Unsupervised runs. Means I get a freebie at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you saw his, uh, he'll put a post on today. But he, um, yes, lots and lots of plans. <laughs> uh, he was, uh, Unsupervised at hot at uh, Home Depot, the men's Hobby Lobby, the men's Hobby Lobby, Home Depot, men's Hobby Lobby. How do you know? How do you know the men's Hobby Lobby isn't like Bass Rock Pro, It could be Bass Pro Shop or Sportsman's Warehouse. But that's why we get we have Joanne's and we have Michaels and. Is any is anybody near a what's it called crafters warehouse craft warehouse? I have heard about those stores, but I have never lived near one. Okay, let's see if we can finish this up. Four. Um, was it a Ryobi? It does have a power no, cord. No, did not. It was a Ryobi. Ryobi, that's right. We found out it is Ryobi. I was instructed that it was Ryobi. Um, he claims it was for me. I I bought a craft tool. I bought a craft tool, but it's probably something I'm going to use. Um, oh, Teresa wants to know how the new little chicks are doing. Oh, they are, they are doing awesome. They are running around. Today was balancing on the patio furniture lesson day. So they can hang their little butts over yes. the chair and poop. So they were all mom, well, both moms and both babies 
we're up on the patio furniture on our on our porch balancing on the wrought iron okay so here we go I, I never did say what I bought. I ended up, no, not a miter saw. I, I have a nice one of those already. Um, no, I bought a Dremel. I bought a Dremel so that I can do, I'm gonna try to cut out some words out of metal sheeting. Okay, so here we go. Here's our cute little project. Here's our little cute. pumpkin. It's just missing a little first place ribbon. That's okay, everyone knows. It gets first place. What do you think of that? Tell me what you think about that. Um, what is it called? Mesh ribbon. Does that kind of look like grass or or moss? It does. It does. Does Even it? in, okay. in person, cool. it does. Cool. Um, Thanks. Cute. Super cute. It's, it might not be white. What if we were to put uh, like a real thin pipe cleaner green curly cues off the top of your pumpkin? I could. An idea. I could. Well, we'll see. I'll 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 let it sink in for a while. So tonight's project using the club transfer. You can use it multiple ways. Again, club is our monthly subscription program, twenty one ninety nine a month, and you get a beautiful uh, eight and a half by eleven transfer, and it's oh, my words are gone. It's exclusive to club members and um, designers. You get three paste packets and you get a um, you get an accessory. And this month, August, the accessory is um, a cutout in the shape of this pumpkin, a wooden cutout. Like the one behind you. Like the one behind me that I'm not going to touch because things will all fall off. And then don't forget. If you're interested, what did I do with it? No. What I did with here it is. This is my suggestion for club members. This is a this is one of our new surfaces. It is nine by twelve. One side is white, the other side is black. It'll fit into a wooden frame. You just have to find the right size, or you can just leave it like this. It's our reusable surface. And my recommendation is if you join club, you get one of these also. And then every single month, you will have a ready to go project with your transfer and a surface. And again, because this is my public page, I can't offer uh, specific items, sales, discounts, freebies. But I will tell you, I am having a uh, special for the month of August. Anyone who joins my club in the month of August will get something very, very nice for free. I can't tell you what it is, but if you click on, if you type in club in the comments, click on product info, and then from there, click on club special, you'll find out all about it. And feel free to reach out and ask me more questions or or whatever. I'd love to see you be one of my club members. You know you want to do it. You know you've been thinking about it. So give it a shot. And I can tell you September's, September's design is beautiful too. I can't show you that, at least not for a couple more days, but September's design is beautiful too. Does so price include tax and shipping? that includes all tax, all shipping. Um, club members also get for any other orders, their first order of any month, they get um, discounted. Is it, I can't remember if it's five ninety nine or six ninety nine. I think it's six ninety nine um, flat rate shipping for any order, but your club. Your club packet comes without it's the shipping is all included in your twenty one ninety nine a month. So it's an awesome deal. If you have any more questions, let me know. Yes, the twenty one ninety nine. Oh no, twenty one ninety nine does not include tax. You do you will pay tax on that, but there is no sh it's free shipping. Okay, thanks for asking. Love the mess moss. <laughs> okay. okay, well I will let you all go. And we will see you later. Pick and it used to say, do it. something creative every day, but it fell off. But it does still say, just have fun. So we will see you all later. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.